everyone and welcome back to the 31 days of Halloween. I am excited to share this video with you. This is just going to be kind of a fun uh, throwback video of old Halloween costumes, old cosplays. I was going through all of our Halloween stuff and I actually found some of the costumes. So I have pictures and we're going to do some try-ons. But I really just wanted to have some fun today so that is the plan. I hope you guys have been enjoying my video so far. Thank you for all the love and support. Um, so many new subscribers, comments. I love you all and thank you guys so much. So we'll get into the video. The first picture I found that is a throw, throw, throwback. Um, my go-to witch. Uh, obviously Harry Potter inspired. I got the Muggles handbook in my hand, I got the hat. You know, I'm, I'm living life. I don't have a care in the world and uh, I'm vibing. I've always liked witches, like typical like Wicked Witch of the West, like evil, like <laughs> full green face, giant warded nose. I'm pretty sure I was one of those for Halloween too. I just can't find a picture. So we love me a scary witch costume. So that is like a 10 out of 10, love it. And now we have some cringy costumes. Now I do love this character still. I just was young and uh, yeah, I thought it'd be fun because I got this dress that my mom got me and I loved it. But I did Columbia from Rocky Horror Picture Show in high school. So I did my nails, which were all gemmed out, which were pretty funny. I'll put a picture in next. And then I did, um, my fancy dress and my makeup tried to do the skinny eyebrows without shaving my actual eyebrows off so uh, that was interesting but um good effort uh i do love columbia i would probably redo it i remember i did do a magenta costume which i can't find a picture of i can't find a lot of pictures of my costumes when i was younger i know i did like a giraffe i did a lot of witches i did a werewolf one year we had this giant fuzzy onesie like lion costume I wore a few times so that's always fun uh, hmm what next uh I did a broken doll this is when I was just getting into makeup so I did use a prosthetic on my chest but a for effort um does look terrible so I can't complain that much um definitely my makeup has gotten better and you know that's something I love to see I love to see improvements in myself um so that's something that makes me happy is that I get to improve on my craft and uh enjoy that more Okay, um, I did a nun, a uh, bad habit nun, when I worked at Spirit Halloween, and that is what the costume is called. Um, yeah, it, yeah, it's interesting, it's like a sexy take on a nun, and I actually had that costume, so I will be right back, and we will see how this goes. Uh, be warned. It's really short and really, really small and uh, yeah, not safe for work. And we're back. So yeah, I did obviously the blood stain, which is still on there. No, it's not terrible. Um, I actually won a costume contest. We went downtown Toronto to a bar called Bullvine Sex Club with my friend Sherry and I won $200, so that's good. But now I know why. So I was wearing tights and everything, but, um, yeah, yeah, pants, because, <laughs> yeah, you know, it actually is not that bad, and I would probably wear it again, uh, I would probably actually do, like, a demon nun <laughs> makeup in this for another vlog, because, you know, I'm actually gonna, I'm just kind of vibing with the nun vibe, but, yeah, not terrible, um, yeah, I still like this costume and it still fits, so that's good. 
And the next costume I have is actually Black Phillip. I did like a Black Phillip inspired um, makeup, possessed goat, uh, satanic uh, cult member for Halloween. So uh, I can't find the costume, but uh, I did find the fur. I still have the fur. Literally had like fur boot hoofs, you know, when people actually used to wear these. But yeah, so I had my hoofs and I wore a bodysuit, which I can't find. I don't have that anymore. And then, oh yeah, my fur vest, which I still have. Giant long fur. I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear this again, but you know, gotta keep the fur. You never know when strikes. I might wanna be another goat man for Halloween, but yeah. That one was a fun one. I like doing the possessed symbol on my chest. Uh, I have a whole theme here. I like possession or anything to do with uh, demons. So yeah, and that is something that's gonna tie into my actual Halloween costume because I finally figured out what I'm going to be for Halloween and what I'm making my boyfriend be for Halloween. So that will be fun. Um, Also, going back to the nun, I'm all scatterbrained here. I had another costume like this that was actually just a full nun costume, obviously. And I wore it to my friend Fernando's house when he, we used to build haunted houses in his backyard, which is awesome. And that is uh, amazing. We actually, he actually built it into a business, uh, Martino Manor. And I've worked there the past two years. I couldn't work there this year. Obviously, we're not open because of COVID and restrictions. I wish we were, but I do all the makeup for the haunt and I act in it. So that's something I'm gonna miss this year. That's why I also really wanted to push this video, um, these videos, because then it gives you something to do and it keeps my mind off of not working because I miss all the people I work with and I miss getting in my makeup and my costumes. So. Uh, we're just gonna have fun at home and have Halloween at home this year. So yeah, maybe I will do a look like this. Uh, maybe I'll recreate my work look for you. We'll see what happens. Um, the next one, which I love, I love, I love, love, love clowns. Um, I have a thing for clowns. I don't know why. I just love them. I like Captain Spaulding, Pennywise. I love clowns. So I have my go-to clown costume, which I wear all the time. I wore it to work at Spencer's, which is the first picture that you're gonna see. And then the second picture, I went to a Halloween party last year, uh, Halloween in July at Stone Crow Manor. And I did another take on the same costume, but a clown. I actually bought another clown costume, which I have here, which I haven't worn yet like out. I've worn it for makeup and stuff, so maybe that's something that I will get to wear out this year. We'll see. Because I'm going to be that crazy person that's going to go to Spirit and dress up like a clown and yeah, see if I get in trouble or not. But I'll be right back with that one. We'll try that one on for you guys. back I got my cloud costume on now this one I've made a few like YouTube videos in it but I just love the primary colors and the bodysuit again <laughs> we got the same trend here short so I think this one you would I would wear tights with anyways because I'm supposed to be like a clown but yeah I actually really like it with the cute suspenders suspender style look um Totally think I could wear this one out. Again, um, this Halloween costume, the other clown costume, and my Bad Habit Nun are all from uh, Spirit Halloween. I work for Spencer's and Spirit as the company, so I go there a lot and I bought them all while I was working or with my discount. So some of these I just bought because I was like, oh, that's cute and I wanted. I actually think this one is called Giggles the Clown, was on clearance, but I mean, it's adorable, so. I had to buy it, um, and again, clown, so that's my go-to. Um, the next main ones, 
that I have is we're going to go right into uh, my Halloween, my possessed look. So I have two costumes. The first one was from 2018, which is the first year that we uh, that Mama, that Martino Manor bleh, was open, and this was my first possessed look. And then the second one was from last year, which would have been 2019. Um, and then I had a few upgrades, different wig, um, colored contacts. I had the black contacts for my eyes, so that's exciting. And I actually did find a bag because I have all my costumes and all my wigs and stuff from the haunt. So I, I have a bag of stuff. Um, so I can show that to you guys. Um, and I will be doing a video probably tomorrow of a uh, Mamertino look, what I would do for the haunt. Um, yeah, I don't like wearing prosthetics that much, like full face prosthetics, which a lot of my um, which a lot of my makeup was at the haunt. So I did my own makeup every day and I would come in or I'd wear it to the haunt and drive in my full makeup and drive home with it. But it was totally worth it for me. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, if you guys want to check out the site, obviously you can't go this year, but hopefully next year we're up and running again. Um, I love it there. I love all the people I work with, Fernando. It's funny to say that we started being friends because I worked at Spirit, and then we built, helped build, and I worked at his pond and his house, and now it's evolved so much that we have a haunted house that's an actual house. So that's crazy, but uh, that's really exciting. And yeah, let me grab my bag for you guys, and uh, we'll see what I can find in there. I haven't looked at it. I have a bunch, like PJ pants and like dresses and stuff, because I'm supposed to be like a child so I do wear like a sweater to cover my tattoos and cover all my piercings um yeah we'll see how that looks <laughs> and I'm back so the first thing I see is wigs so this wig right here it's got that braided um it's a brown color wig so this wig was actually um my first year working at the haunt actually there's still blood caked on it from the haunt, but um, this was my first wig. Obviously it's a little uh, crazy and messy now, but I would walk around and grab my hair like this and rub my fingers through things, so I mean I was possessed, so yeah. Uh, all in all, like, the wig's still pretty good if you want to do that possessed look. Obviously I could fix it up a little bit, but not bad actually you could pass his normal hair if uh it wasn't so ratty but yeah not hating on that so that's not bad and then i have my black wig this one is from last year i wanted to go a little darker and i wanted to do um my bangs because i find with bangs on wigs um you have a little more play i don't have to go like as far into my face's makeup or blending out it as much so I mean I'm like a crazy mop now but yeah it's sticky because the blood I actually used because I used it as edible blood in my mouth and stuff like that had sugar in it so it's all caked on the wind from me dripping the blood down my face and licking it so that's um interesting but um now we have costume. So I have a bunch of costumes, a lot of them are stained, I literally just use the airbrush and then just wipe it on myself or spray things. So this was my first dress, which is a nightgown that just kind of stained the tea and then I actually have it all caked on here, vomit and not real vomit, but there's still a fake vomit, there's like crusty blood on there. So this was my first year, my first dress. And then when it started to get really cold, I changed and I went to my PJs, which I wore this last year as well, but I have my PJ top, which is nice because I can wear like long sleeve underneath this. And then it has obviously my PJ bottoms, again, stained with tea. Obviously you can see blood stains, just like paint and grease and whatnot on there. So that's good. And I also had this dress. This one I had this year. 
Um, I guess technically last year now. I'm all over the place last year. And um, I did a lot of freaking spitting up blood. So there's the blood on my chest here. And um, with the dresses, I also wore sweaters. So this was my first year because it's cold. Because the house isn't heated. Um, so I just took a sweater from Valley Village and I ripped it up and made it, I mean, spooky. And then this one was actually from this year. And yeah, this one's got like the fur. <laughs> this one's got fur on it. Um, and then the blood. But this sweater's actually really warm. It's like a wool blend sweater. And it's super oversized, so that's nice. And this also helped, obviously, with my uh, tattoos and everything, because I'm supposed to be a child and look innocent. So I wear the wigs, and I have the dresses, the dresses and the shirts. But yeah, that's um, a little throw, little look into my life working at the haunt. And I will, like I said, tomorrow I will probably be doing my haunt makeup. Just a little quick tutorial of how I would do my makeup every day for work. Because I honestly, I miss it. It's one of the best jobs I've ever worked. And if I could do it all year round, I would. I love the atmosphere. I love making people scared or people that laugh. I like laughing with people. Um, so many people come in the haunt and it, they're literally like, scare this one or scare my son. So you purposely go after the person. Sometimes they even tell you their name. And I just find that hilarious. And uh, I know when I go to haunted houses, I'm scared. I jump. Um, I always jump. Even if you were like not scary looking, I would jump at you <laughs> because I don't like when things pop out. The younger kids that I actually worked with at the haunt um, used to hide in different places in the drop down windows and I used to have to walk from outside because I did the makeup outside through the entire house up through the basement which is where you started to the top floor where I was. And uh, they used to try and scare me in some of the areas that were like pitch dark and I hit the one guy once. I full just whacked him because he scared me. So uh, yeah, I like scaring people and I do like being scared. I find it funny, but if you are trying to jump out at me, I might hit you. <laughs> so I told all the kids, I'm like, if you don't want to get hit, don't jump at me. But. Those are some Halloween costumes I found that I've worn or haven't worn. Um, there's a few more kicking around. If I find them, I'll insert them in here. But um, yeah, I am happy to go on this trip of memory lane with you guys. I just wanted to have some fun. I've been kind of down, obviously, because uh, of COVID and I can't do my haunt. but. This was really fun for me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you stick around for the rest of the month and you get to see more of my makeup, for example the makeup at the Han and different looks, especially Halloween day because I'm going all out for Halloween. I'm doing like full body. It's, it's going to be long. It'll probably be a couple hours of makeup but uh... I'm not going to make you sit through all that, I'll speed it up a bit, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy everything, thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a good night, and I will see you in my next video tomorrow.